I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank my subscribers for posting excellent questions. Now these questions are the one from my subscriber who wants to understand how to solve quadratic equations with two variables. So here we have two examples. The first one is solve the following equations. The first one is 2x square minus 5xy minus 3y square equals to 0. The other one is 4x square minus 4xy plus y square equals to 0. Let us adopt the factoring techniques to solve them. Right? So, so the first one, 2x square minus 5xy minus 3y square, we are actually looking for product of 2 and 3. We know we have two variables x and y. You can say we are looking for product of 2 times 3y square, think like that. So product is 2 times 3y square with a minus. So we want product, let's say pq, as minus 6y square. So treat this as one whole number. And we want the sum, p plus q, as the middle number, minus 5y, minus 5y. Think as if the equation is in x, single variable. So the idea is, think as if the equation is in single variable and then solve. So treat y as a constant. It helps. So we are looking for a product of 2 times minus 3y square, that is minus 6y square, and sum of minus 5y. Now what numbers could satisfy this? We know 6 times 1 is 6. We need minus and therefore the two numbers are of opposite sign. So the numbers could be 6y minus 6y and y. So if I add them, I get minus 5y. Do you get the idea? So we'll split this minus 5xy as minus 6xy and y, I mean, plus xy. Do you understand? So x is a variable now. So we are looking as if we are working with single variable. So that really helps. The rest of the things are 3y square equals to 0 and we have 2x square. So basically, we'll split the middle term as we did for most of the factoring examples. And now you can combine the first two and the last two, right? So you can combine these two and these two. What is common? 2x is common here. So we can say 2x and we get x minus 3y. In this case, what is common? y is common and we get x minus 3y equals to 0. Now x minus 3y is common. So we write x minus 3y we're left with 2x plus y equals to 0. So that is the factored form. Once you get to the factored form, then equate each factor to 0, which will give you two different solutions, right? So from here, we are looking for solutions now. How? Equate each factor to 0. So we can write x minus 3y equals to 0, solve for x, and we can equate 2x plus y equals to 0, solve for x, okay? So that is what it is. So basically, we'll solve for x. So we'll treat this equation, which may have two variables, as the equation in one variable x, okay? So let's solve. So we get x equals to 3y, and here, what do we get? We get 2x equals to minus y, or x equals to minus y over 2, or half y. So we have two solutions. Our answer is x equals to 3y, and x equals to minus half y. So I hope the steps are clear. So basically, even if the equation has two variables, treat it as one variable and apply the concepts which you have learned, right? So here we applied the product and sum technique to factor 
and then each factor should be equal to 0 to find the value of x. That's what we call solving equations, correct? Now let's do the next one. You can actually now pause the video, answer the question, solve this part, and then look into my suggestions, right? Now the second equation is 4x squared minus 4xy plus y squared equals to 0. It seems to be a perfect square. See, 4x squared is 2x whole square. y squared is y squared. And the center term is minus 2 times 2x times y. Do you see that? Here we have plus. So center term is twice the product of these two, right? And therefore, we could actually write that equation as as 2x minus y whole square. So we could factor this as 2x minus y whole square equals to 0. So since we recognize this equation as a perfect square, it was simple. You would always adopt this method of product and sum to factor, right? Well, here we have only one factor. So we'll equate this to 0. So equate 2x minus y to 0 and then solve for x. So let's solve. So we have 2x equals to y, x is equals to half y. So we have our answer here that x is equal to half y, correct? So I hope with this you understand how to solve equations where we seemingly have two variables. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.